there and welcome to Studio 22 on the campus of Oklahoma City University inside the Walker Center and brought to you by the Mass Communications Department. I'm your host, Lara Switzer. Today we have an exciting show, our guest Aaron Saheb. He's here to sing and play a few songs on the guitar. Stay tuned, we'll be right back after this short break. Hi, welcome back to Studio 22. Aaron, thank you so much for joining us today. Glad to be here. So, I just wanted to start the show off just by a few icebreaker questions just to get everybody's nerves a little bit calmed. Okay, so, if you had to choose between going to a Tom Petty concert or the Beatles, who would you choose and why? Shoot. Uh, I would choose the Beatles. The Beatles. Because Tom Petty, rest in peace, <laughs> was always doing shows and you could, like, eventually find your way to one, but the Beatles only played so many and... Yeah. You know, broke up after like the early or late 60s, early 70s. So, that so would be what cool. are some of your favorite songs? My favorite songs. It always changes. It always changes. You know, it's I like kind of what old. You're, the mood you're in. Yeah, I like old stuff, like old rock and roll stuff. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it always changes. Just yeah. depends on my mood that day. Okay, so these are just like one or the other. So rap or country? Oh <laughs> shoot. Like, if we're talking about these days right now, mm -hmm. rap for sure. Okay. Wine or beer? Oh, shoot. Uh, beer. Beer. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs all the way? All the way. Me too. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> tr okay, so if you had to vote for the next president in the 2020 election, would you vote for Trump or The Rock? Dang. The Rock, the for rock sure. The Rock all the way? Yeah, I have faith in him. I feel like he could keep me safe <laughs> in any situation. Yeah. Okay. Um, tacos or burritos? Burritos. Burritos. Where's 100%. your favorite burrito from? Uh, probably Cultivar because I worked there for so long. Yeah. Um, okay. So how many times have you seen The Grateful Dead and Co? Oh, uh, twice. Twice? Twice. Where at? One time I you saw You went to Chicago recently, right? Yeah, I went in Chicago in 2015, and then this summer I went to uh, Boulder, Colorado. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Okay, last question. <laughs> White or brown gravy? Brown gravy. Brown gravy. So OG. Okay, so today on the show, you're going to be singing and playing the guitar. Um, will you be singing some of your favorite songs by, like, your favorite art artist, or are you going to be doing some original stuff? Probably no originals because no I'm, I'm better at playing other people's stuff than my own stuff. Okay, not so not better than them, but like not better than them. You know, of course not. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's yeah. your favorite genre? Like, what would you describe your music that you play to be? Um, when I started playing, uh, I really liked like Jimi Hendrix a lot because he was crazy and he's like the best guitarist ever, yeah. according to a lot of people. And then from there, I went to the blues because I was trying to kind of figure out where he got all that influence from, where all that sound was developed from. So Jimi so Hendrix, blues. in a, like a way, inspired you to play the guitar. Yeah, definitely. That's really cool. I got an iPod. My dad got me an iPod for my birthday one year. And, you know, I was on LimeWire, like, getting all the songs. LimeWire. Oh, my God. LimeWire. I downloaded so many viruses <laughs> on our computer. But, I, you know, I found the Jimi Hendrix and all that stuff, and then I would listen to it on the way to school, and one day I was just like, I want a guitar. How old were you when you got it? I was 12. 12? 12. Okay, well, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. I thought they were all soft.
Oklahoma isn't your room. So don't trash it. There are plenty of teams in every sport that have great players and never win titles. Most of the time, those players aren't willing to sacrifice for the greater good of the team. One thing I believe to the fullest is that if you think and achieve as a team, the individual athletes will take care of themselves. Talent wins games, but teamwork and intelligence wins championships. Just what do you think you are doing, Dave? I really think I'm entitled to an answer to that question. I can see you are really upset about this. I know I've made some very poor decisions recently, but I can give you my complete assurance that my work will be back to normal. Dave. Stop, will you? Will you stop? Dave. My name is Eric. Here's Aaron with his first song. All right, this song is called uh, Dire Wolf. Timbers of Fenario, wolves are running round. Winter was so hard and cold, froze ten feet beneath the ground. Don't murder me, I beg of you, don't murder me. Please don't murder me. Sat down to my supper, twas a bottle of red whiskey. Said my prayers and went to bed. That's the last they saw of me. Don't murder me. I beg of you, don't murder me. Please don't murder me. When I woke the dial wolf, 600 pounds of sin. Was grinning at my window All I said was come again Don't murder me I beg of you don't murder me Please don't murder me When 
I awoke Oh, shoot. That's as close as I can get. Unless I can redo it. Yeah, okay. Song. So who is that by? It's a Grateful Dead song. I play it first when I play a show because it says, don't murder me. Please don't murder me over mm -hmm. again. So if I screw it up like that, you know, like I warn the people. Yeah. Like, come on. So when did break. he release this song? Oh, this song is from like the... Uh, Early 70s, I think. Oh, wow. Okay, so like I've never heard it, but it was really awesome. Thanks. Okay, so you said earlier that you were inspired to play the, the guitar by one of your favorite artists. So when did you first get your guitar? Mm, you I know was how old like you were? 12. You I were like 12? I got my first guitar. And your dad I gave it, it to you? from an infomercial, yeah. You bought it from an infomercial? Yeah. No, you Esteban. didn't. Yeah, Esteban. he's still selling guitars on TV. <laughs> Yeah. That's awesome. And I'm guessing this is not the same guitar. This is not the same guitar. Once when I like had been playing for three or four years, my dad was like, let's go, you know, get you a good guitar. So yeah. we got this. I've had it for 12 years now. Do you have a favorite style of guitar? Um, I don't really know a lot about guitars. Yeah, like for electric guitars, I like Stratocasters. That's like the real classic style electric guitar. Okay. So that's my favorite. Oh, sure. that's nice. Yeah. So do you have any idea what you're going to play next or is it just going to come to you? Uh, we'll see. I don't we'll know. We'll see? Yeah. Okay. Something I'm confident in. These cameras are really everywhere. <laughs> so it gives me the, I get the jitters a little yeah. bit, but I'll play something that I know well. Okay. Yeah. And then, okay, so your dad gave you your guitar. Well, actually, you ordered it from a commercial, which is <laughs> yeah, hilarious. SA1, yeah. Um, and I know that you guys, you and your band, what is your band called? Um... Gosh, every time I've had a band, we haven't made a name, so. You haven't made a name? No. You guys played, though, at a bar, correct? Maybe yeah, once or we twice? Used to, yeah, we play at this bar in Norman, Blue Bonnet Bar, and so we just we just go under no title. No title just, at all? You just go in and play? Go play. That's awesome. Yeah, it's fun. Where was your favorite bar that you played in? Uh, the Deli in Norman. You played in the Deli? Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, That's really a cool. cool. Okay. Well, we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. Stars in retreat. The shot goes up. Devasone comes out of nowhere. And another block for OCU. This guy's on fire. This kid owns OCU's record in blocks, not only on the court, but off the court as well. Earlier today, he was busy crashing the boards. Just a rebounding machine. Even cleaning up the glass, giving a whole new meaning to garbage time. Devasone, MVP on the court, and keeping Oklahoma beautiful off the court. Welcome back to Studio 22. Okay, so before we get into another song, I just wanted to ask you a few more questions. Um, so your favorite bands are The Grateful Dead and Co. and The Beatles and Tom Petty. Um, all of these bands kind of like have a few things in common, but like for you, why do you like look up to them so much or like them so much? Well, I like The Grateful Dead a lot because there's they just created an entire subculture for themselves and they always played live music, which is like mm -hmm. one thing that I enjoy the most about uh, my favorite artists is that most of them play live shows a lot as opposed to just releasing albums and then never really making a public appearance except for at like the Grammys and stuff like that. That makes a lot of sense. But yeah. Yeah. That's... I think we're actually, Boone and I are actually going to go to the Grateful Dead concert mm -hmm. in a month or two and I'm really excited. I've never seen them live. Yes. It's fun. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. So you went to school at OU. I did. Um, I know that you were there and you almost got your degree um, and then you decided that you wanted to go in engineering, correct? Yeah. Well, I got, 
I did get my degree. You did get your degree. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like a philosophy type deal. Okay. And what I inspired switched. you to do philosophy? Um, it was just kind of like you go to college and you're like, I don't know what to do. I'm going to do philosophy. Well, yeah, pretty yeah. much that. Yeah. Yeah. I just couldn't make up my mind about what I wanted to do. Um, and then obviously my parents were trying to pressure me into doing engineering or something. So naturally I was like, no, I don't want to do that. Yeah. So I got a philosophy degree. And then, and then I couldn't find a job, so I went back and got an engineering degree, like they said. And, and I now got a you job. have a job. Yeah. What are you doing? Um, I'm a validation engineer. It's. Uh, Can you explain that? Because I had no idea what it was. Just a quick rundown. It's like in the pharmaceutical industry, there is uh, like a mountain, an infinite mountain of paperwork. And so my job is to take that paperwork and mm -hmm. organize it into a way that like um, you can track you know how things are made and what the equipment is that you're making it with okay it's just kind of like uh, organizing paperwork what does the company make is it uh, all different make, things yeah they they call themselves a contract manufacturer so they big pharmaceutical companies okay. will hire them to make drugs Cool. So, yeah, okay. Bad. Well, do you want to play your second song? Yeah. Okay. Let's awesome. Do it. There's mosquitoes on the river. Fish are rising up like birds. It's been hot for seven weeks now it's Too hot to even speak now Did you hear what I just heard? Well, it might have been a fiddle Or it could have been the wind But there seems to be a beat now I can feel it in my feet now Listen here comes again There's a band out on the highway High stepping in the town Rainbow full of sound Fireworks, calliopes and clowns And everybody's dancing Come on, children, come on, children, come on, clap your hands. Well, the sun went down in honey, and the moon come up in wine, and the fields are full of dancing, full of singing and romancing. The music never stop never stop never stop never stop never stop now never stop never stop was amazing. I love that song. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Some people don't think it's easy to be green. Audrey does it every day. Turn off appliances when they're not being used. Shut off the lights when you leave a room. Go plastic too. Today, Audrey did her part in helping those you can serve. It's that easy. Have you done the same? Visit okcu.edu slash bluegoesgreen for more information. Oklahoma isn't your room. So don't trash it.
welcome back to Studio 22. Okay, Aaron, so before we took that last break, what song did you sing? Okay, so the last song I sang is called The Music Never Stop. The Music Never Stops, and who's that by? It's, they're all probably going to be they're dead songs. They're all dead songs? Yeah. <laughs> and are yeah. these all in the same era? Yeah, they're like, they're like 60s and 70s songs. Okay. Uh, these are the ones that like, I just got the most comfortable with. So if I'm playing at a bar or something and it starts getting quiet and people start looking at me like, why isn't there any music? Yeah. That's, that's what, that's that's your what I'll play. Yeah. So who introduced you to this music? Um, and how old were you? Were you young, old? I was 18. Okay. I was 18. I got out of school. Yeah. And I was like a really good kid in high school. And I've in college too, but, you know. Um, I hung around with some crazy hippie kids and they introduced me to the music and I didn't really like them, but I liked the music. Yeah. And so it just stuck with me for okay. quite a while. That last song was beautiful. Thanks. So your next song that you're going to play, it's also, you said, by the same? Probably. I still am. You still don't know I'm what you're playing. It, it just kind of comes there. to you? Yeah, I guess. That's really cool, though. Yeah, it's more just like I get, like, nervous mm -hmm. or, like, pressure myself, and then one finally just, like, pops out. And I'm like, oh, I can play that. And it just comes to you. Yeah. So you're, you just got your new job in Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. Do you plan on staying here for a long time, or do you think that you're going to ever move just for a little bit or for long term? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I would like to go travel and see the world for Where sure. Where would you like to go? Um, anywhere and everywhere. Anywhere and everywhere? Yeah, I really want to go to Vietnam. It looks really cool. Okay. And the food is amazing. I've never obviously. been to Vietnam. You just got back from... Iran. Okay, yeah. how was that? It was you're originally good. from, your family's from Iran. My family's from, my mom and dad are from Iran. Okay. Um, and then they came here, my dad came in the 70s, so uh, we go back every now and then, and it's different for sure. I know, on your Snapchats, you guys would be eating dinner, like sitting down, no shoes on. Yeah. What kind of food was it? It looked amazing. Well, there's always rice. Always rice with every always meal. Always rice with every meal. Even breakfast? No, not, not breakfast. breakfast. Breakfast okay. is real easy. It's just bread and cheese and tea. Or coffee. Bread and cheese for breakfast. Okay. Pretty much. And then uh, dinner is rice and like heavy stews and lots of bread and greens and stuff like that. So. That sounds really good. Yeah. So what was your favorite part about being over there? Uh, family. For sure. I don't, family? My whole family lives over there. So it's very rare that I get to see them. And that, you know, it's a really good experience to have. To yeah. go see them and experience all that family love. Do you plan on going back anytime soon? Yeah, maybe maybe next year in the summertime, just for like a couple of weeks. Yeah. It's always good to just go hang out for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, we're going to take one more break, and we'll be right back. OCU is smart, fun, cute, driven, so, so, so busy. Impressive, exciting, but you know this, you go here. OCU is my school. I was looking for a way to help out with my community while also getting close with my gal pals. I've been looking for an addition in my life that can make things more lively. That's why we adopted these guys. Research shows that women love cute little things. So what's wrong with you? Get a guy who's guaranteed to stay. Welcome back to Studio 22. Aaron will be playing his last song. Take it away. All right. This song is called Jack Straw. About a guy from Wichita. We can share the women, we can share the wine 
We can share what we got to use Cause we done shared all of mine Keep on rolling Just a mile to go Keep on rolling my old buddy, you're moving much too slow. I just jumped the watchman right outside the fence. Took his rings for bucks and chain. Ain't that heaven sent? Hurts my ears to listen. Shannon, it burns my eyes to see Cut down the men in cold blood Shannon, might as well be me Used to play for silver Now I play for life Once for sport and once for blood at the point of a knife Now the die is shaking, now the die must fall Ain't a winner in the game Don't go home with all, not with all Texas, fourth day of July. Sun so high, the clouds are low, the eagles fill the sky. Catch the Detroit lightning out of Santa Fe. Great Northern. Out of shine from sea to shining sea. Gotta go to Tulsa.